Hello everyone and welcome back to this next year's Unstrapy tutorial series. In the previous video we saw how to um, uh, retrieve for a, 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 a job, okay? For each job, the related jobs for that particular job and for each related job, the company that posted the job um, and the logo of that uh, company, right? Which is this deep level of nesting here. So we are doing some nested queries as you can see here uh, to populate what we want to return. Um, but one thing that we can also nest is the, 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 the filters. You see here, we have an equality filter here. Um, basically we get the slog and for, this, uh, for that particular uh, slog uh, of the job or the company, in this case the job, well, we do an equality query to make sure that we filter the job um, uh, table or entity um, in uh, Strapi to return the job that have that particular slog. The same way we can nest uh, whatever we are returning, okay? We can also nest uh, what whatever we are filtering. And why will we want to do that? Well, let's have a look at uh, the, the, the implementation, the way we have our um, uh, company page here if first of all let's let's have a look at the front end version okay so if i come to the company page like this oops if i come to the company page if i come to the company page here as you can see um the company uh when you display a company we also display the jobs uh, of that company right so that means we will need the way to get jobs by company okay we can either do get the jobs by company or the, via the slog or via the company id well when we are displaying a company here we have the choice okay because here we already have the company uh, this is the, 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 the company page here uh, we do first the get static paths obviously to get all the company slogs we already created this query right and for each of the companies that uh, have for which we have found a slog we want to generate the, 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 the company's page right so the first one is this the, the first thing that we do is to refresh the actual company right and then we want to fetch the um, the company jobs well uh, remember this tutorial was created to be like this this um project was created to be very modular and work with every single cms out there okay so in the case of um strapi in the case of contentful because they, like it, it's a lot it's a lot um, easier to do nested queries and bi-directional entities uh what i mean to say is that in contentful you don't have bi-directional uh, uh relationships the, the same way we do in strapi for example here if i go back to our, our um, model you can see if i click here you can see that it's very bi-directional meaning that when you are you have a company you can get the jobs of that company uh, sorry here when you have a company you can get the jobs of that company and when you have a, a job you can get the company that posted the job okay so this is a bi-directional uh, uh, request in contentful you don't have such a thing right so you you you, you one and only one of the uh, entity will carry the relation okay so that's why in the case of contentful which is uh, the, the primary cms for which this uh next js ui was built we need to do a second query here to get the companies that are the jobs that are related to that particular company and at this stage we can do it either by id or by slog but the id at the end of the day is the id is going to be faster than slogs right so that's why when we have the choice like this we fall back to the, to the ids because it's going to make the request faster okay but in the case of strapi right in the case of strapi we could have um, uh, customized the this function get company by slog so as to return because we have so as to return even the jobs right uh, because we can we know how to do that right we know how to uh, return uh, just by adding this attribute here like this slash job jobs okay that will have prevented us from having to do um, this second the second query here in the case of strapi okay but remember one one of our requirements is that our application should work with every single cms okay so that's why i'm not going to do it here like this okay i'm just going to leave it like this and i'm going to create another request okay 
that's going to get all the jobs um, based on the company ID. So let's create that request right now. And uh, that is going to illustrate to us how to do nested filters, which is the purpose, the main purpose of the of the of the this particular lesson. Okay, so I'm going to copy it here. Um, actually, let's let's write it slowly. Cons query equals to query string stringify like this. Uh, copy here the filters. So you see what I mean by nested equality. So here, let me collapse this one. You see, we have filters and directly the slog, which is a field. Okay, here we have filters, but we have another field. We have another entity before we get to the filter, to the to the actual field. Okay, so this is a nested equality query here that we are doing. So from the job, okay, we first go to the company, um, to the company um, uh, uh, entity. And then we filter the company entity based on IDs before returning the jobs that are relevant. So it's like a join if you're familiar with SQL. Okay. And again, here in this case, let me let me let me first return the query. And um, we're gonna need some populate, but for, for now let's just um, return the query and see what, what uh, we, we, we we get. Okay. I'm gonna add populate here. This one, this thing here, like this, very good. And let's return const. Very good. Let's see what we have. Okay. So get company, get jobs by company ID. That's what we want to return here. So let's do that here. Obviously, let actually, you know what? I'm going to just copy like this because we may need that later on. I'm just going to copy and remove this here. Copy this. Very good. And then I'm going to put ID because it takes an ID and I'm going to pass in like two or one or something. Okay. Let's pass one and let's refresh here and see what we have. Voila. So you see, we have like this list of jobs, right? So we have all the jobs, all the jobs, uh, like collapse all of it here. Oops. This extension. All right, so we have four jobs, okay, posted by that company. Four jobs returned out of the six that are in our uh, in our uh, CMS at the moment. We have four. So if I put two as the parameter here, we're gonna get the, the the remaining two, okay, the remaining two jobs. Very good. So if I collapse here, you see the remaining two. Very good. But remember, once we are returning, uh, this this is for the purpose of displaying them on the company's page so we need the logo uh, the company uh, and the logo of that company okay so and and also eventually the scale tags so let's add those um, populate attributes uh, to the query okay but here you see already like this is a very pop uh, powerful query we are returning jobs but you are filtering by company id which is very very powerful very very flexible and that's the one of the, uh, the strength of uh, strapi it's very flexible so let's add the population here um i think it's this level very good i don't think we need the cover image at this stage the skill tags not 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 necessarily but they may be needed at some point you see now we have the logo and for each of them, we also have the scale tags, uh, which is wonderful. Okay, so um, that's how we do both. In this case, nested population. So basically, we nest the things that we're going to return, and also how to do nested filters. Okay, I hope you find this useful. Um, in the next video, we're going to start talking about pagination. So stay tuned. We're going to look at pagination next. Thank you for watching, and see you next. Bye.